after the Boston Celtics completely blew out the Golden State Warriors at home in TD Garden, Jalen Brown finally spoke out to what was going on to start that ball game. If you guys aren't aware, the Golden State Warriors gave Jalen Brown open season from a three-point line. I didn't understand why, and Jalen Brown didn't understand why, and ultimately he said he felt disrespected. I'm going to break down what Jalen Brown fully had to say towards the back half of this video, because the first half of this video, I really want to break down why the Warriors even decided to do this in the first place. So before we get into anything, I just want you guys to show Jalen Brown some love. I want him to be able to come to Celtics today and see no matter what these teams want to do against Jalen Brown, he can come here and see some love from Celtics today fans. So all you guys have to do is spam number seven down in the comments. And when I'm talking about the Golden State Warriors literally backed off of Jalen Brown completely to the point where I'm watching doing a live party, which is currently on Celtics today, and I'm thinking, oh my God, they're literally backpedaling away from one of the best three-point shooters on the Boston Celtics. Here are some clips from the game that actually did happen. And you can see here, I mean, this is probably six-plus feet from the nearest defender. They're not even worried about him. Steph Curry's even looking over at Al Horford. They are giving him so much space. And it's not just one play. It keeps happening. For every offensive possession the Boston Celtics have to start the game, you can see there's nine minutes left in the first quarter, and Jalen Brown doesn't have a defender in sight. So what's Jalen Brown going to do? He's going to shoot the three and make it, which is exactly why Joe Missoula ended up calling a TV timeout a lot earlier than the seven-minute mark because there was a report that came out that when Joe Missoula took that timeout, every single Boston Celtics player looked at Jalen Brown and said, uh, you better shoot that shit. They gave him the green light to literally take any shot from the top of the key because they're not going to be guarding him anyway. So let's see what Jalen Brown can do. And he popped off. He had 19 points in the first seven minutes with five threes made. There is no other Boston Celtic to ever have that stat line other than Ray Allen. It was, it was insane to see somebody be able to do this with the amount of space they were giving him. He said, look, I got you, and you're never going to do that again to me, which is why I find this just weird that the Warriors came in here and they're like, hey, we're going to give Jalen Brown the utmost space. We're going to force him to shoot. We're going to see what he can do, yada, yada, yada. That is the weirdest freaking game plan to me because it's not like Jalen Brown, Jalen Brown has been struggling. This 11-game win streak, he's really heated up after the All-Star break. In the last five games since they've returned to the All-Star break, he's 27.2 points, six rebounds, four assists, shooting 60% from the field, which is incredible. Even better from the arc right now, 45%. There was zero reason for the Golden State Warriors to come in here and say, hey, look, we're going to make Jalen, we're going to force Jalen Brown to shoot open threes. Um, please do. Because clearly it works out in the Boston Celtics' favor. Do you guys agree with this game plan that Steve Kerr, Draymond Green, and Steph Curry cooked up? I'm going to give you more of their quotes coming up here after the break. But ultimately, I just want you guys to go on ahead and comment why or why not on why you agree or disagree with the Golden State Warriors' defensive plan against the Boston Celtics. Because I do want to break down Jalen Brown's message that he had to the Golden State Warriors and pretty much to every other NBA team out there about what they did to him. So let's give a little recap here, right? 140 to 88 is how bad the Boston Celtics beat the Golden State Warriors. Now, in their defense, they have been beating the past five opponents with 19 points or more. The Boston Celtics are on a hot streak right now. However, can you believe it that this game was tied at 21-21 and then they just went on a run and never looked back? At one point, the Boston Celtics had a 56-point lead over the Golden State Warriors. So, after the game, the natural question for every media member out there is saying, what the heck were you doing to start this ball game? And I'll tell you Draymond Green's response. Anthony Slater asked Draymond Green after the game, and he said, look, the Warriors implemented this strategy to sag off Jalen Brown 15 minutes before the game? Draymond Green said, I thought it was fun to try. I was actually all for it. It didn't work. Oh, well, we move on. That is a horrible game tactic. I'm not Steve Kerr. I'm not anything close to an NBA coach. But to think of a game plan against the top team in the NBA 15 minutes before you play with no stats or nothing to go back it up, that's wild. 
especially if they had done some research, they would have seen what Jalen Brown can do when he is open. You, you guard him very tight, nothing. You're not getting anything. Two, two to four feet, you're guarding him kind of tight, 30% from the three-point line. Not his best, but open. Four to six feet, shooting 40% from the line. Even when he's wide open, he goes back to a tight coverage. But you gave him just enough to when he can see you backing off and he feels open. Not wide open, not no defenders around him, but just enough cushion to say, watch this, and swap 19 points in seven minutes. And what's worse is that Steph Curry backed this plan up. Steph Curry commented and said, a team that has that many threats, you try to find some weak spot to see if it'll throw them off a little bit. Obviously, it didn't work. That's the thing. I actually went to go look at all the stats, the advanced shootings for the Boston Celtics to see where they were all shooting at from the line, and there really is no weak spot in that game, which is why it leads me to have more confusion as to, so you're going to throw them off, throw them off. In TD Garden, you're going to allow Jalen Brown to shoot wide open with the crowd of Boston Celtics fans at home during an 11-game win streak? That is banana land, and I don't agree with it. I love the win, though, and I think it's crazy that Steph Curry even commented again and said, I have no regrets. No regrets for leaving Jalen Brown that wide open. No regrets for 19 points in the first seven minutes, which is astonishing to see Jalen Brown take that kind of pressure. If you're in a seven-game series, yeah, maybe push it a little bit. Maybe on game three, leave him wide open, throw him off, because that shot matters more than a regular season game. But When we do talk about what Jalen Brown had to say to Steph Curry and Draymond Green, he saw this quote. He saw this press conference of Steve Kerr basically saying what his game plan was. And he said, you know, it was a wash. It didn't work out. Well, Jalen Brown liked the game plan. In fact, he encouraged more NBA teams to do so. He said more teams should take this strategy just almost daring another NBA team to leave me wide open. I love the confidence, absolutely, but Jalen Brown, you're going to have to back it up. Have you had some missed shots, some inconsistent games? Absolutely. But if you have the confidence and the support of the Boston Celtics behind you to give you the green light, I am all for this strategy as well. And I see where the Warriors were going with this. I do, because the Brown is shooting a career low 5.6 three-pointers a game. However, maybe what the Golden State Warriors weren't aware of, or maybe they just picked the wrong weak spot here, is that every single player on the starting five can shoot from downtown. So that means Jalen Brown is not going to have to take as many three-point shots, which is one of the reasons why I love the Boston Celtics starting five. But if they continue to do it, be warned, other NBA teams that want to leave Jalen Brown wide open. He also commented one more time, really expanded here, saying, look, that's honestly the first time that's ever happened to me. Honestly, I was a bit surprised. Took a little bit of adjusting, but if I want to, if you want to dare me to shoot, we can do that too. I thought it was a little disrespectful, but we took advantage of it and we didn't look back. Jalen Brown and the Boston Celtics dominated the Golden State Warriors. So if you want to start off every game like that, be my guest. But Joe Missoula commenting on Jalen Brown's performance. He said, look, we're grateful for that. We're grateful they came here and tested us. I put out a video yesterday talking about how the Boston Celtics say they're looking for challenges every single game so they don't get bored with winning. They want to keep scoring, whether it's defensively, offensively, try to make something happen. So if that is going to be leaving Jalen Brown open and having the rest of the offense spread out to make sure he even has more space, then that's another challenge I'll add to the books that they have successfully completed in Tacoma win. Overall, just to give my opinion on this piece, I think that I understand why Golden State Warriors were trying to do something to throw off the Boston Celtics, and I give them credit for trying to knock down the number one team in the NBA. But point blank, it was a stupid plan, and that should have had a lot more planning behind it than just 15 minutes. If you wanted to go on ahead and separate anybody on the Boston Celtics starting lineup, I actually did my research, Jason Tatum shoots the worst when he's wide open, four to six feet without a defender, and that's still 36.1%. So if you want to do that again, be my guest, because it's not going to work, and you're going to have to find another weak weak, weak spot, because the Boston Celtics have too many weapons, especially from downtown. There have also been arguments that the Boston Celtics rely too much on the three-point line. 
I would have personally rather have made Jalen Brown drive to the basket, which he's been dominating recently, but he can definitely improve in those areas. But from wide open from a three-point line, get out of here, Golden State. There are very few weak spots, and that's not one of them. So that would not have been my strategy. But should another team let Jalen Brown shoot open three? Should we really see if this was uh, he got hot, he's feeling himself, the Cs are feeling themselves? Should another team really test Jalen Brown's ability to shoot wide open? If you guys think yes, type Y. If you think no, go on ahead and type N. And while you guys are at it, I just want to ask one more thing of you here before you head on out. If you guys love the Boston Celtics, if you're happy to be here and you want to know everything that has to do with Boston Celtics, just go on ahead and hit that sub button for me.